Okay. Here we go. What, what does that say for this disclaimer? This video is purely satire. It does not respond to it. Financial advice. Do your own research before making investigative decisions. Your capital is always at risk. What the hell? Alright, Seth. But yeah, we're going to start this out. Uh, are you ready, Fable? I guess. Okay, let's Here, go. Here's our topic of a day. Inflation. Inflation is a global topic. Some of the most powerful people on this planet are the same people responsible for the most inflation. Coincidence? Huh? I think not. You might think it's just a way of printing liquidity for short-term gain and no consequence. Because, okay. after all, everything is tethered to the dollar since we abolished the Bretton Woods system in... What the hell? Uh, he starts with a conversation about the... Um the, abol the tethering the amount of money to the dollar since we didn't build the gold so standard, which is something as a historian I did learn about. Doesn't matter because you're equally screwed. Our hyperinflation uh. is your hyperinflation. Enjoy. In conclusion, uh. the Federal Reserve is run by hyperinflation fetishists. What? But here's the thing: they're not doing it for money. They're doing it because they're perverts and they find what the, the fuck am i looking at here extremely Zip? hot now let's talk about something completely unrelated good Trouble hunter is a uh. completely innocent game where you play as an anfro lizard who is sent to guard over the land you fight okay. you protect the innocent you uh consume your enemies by uh ventilating my dog is here now again into your mouth <laughs> huh. and it's really funny because if oh, he's dressed like indiana jones right there too much he gets large. <laughs> oh God! Imagine that. <laughs> what the hell? And what if he is he like even Kirby more? Or? Got even oh. larger. Well, that would be crazy. But what the hell? Too much, or you're gonna pop. This is an allegory for your blood vessels, which are going to pop if you keep going down this road. Be Can I ask a question, Fable? Yeah. What kind What's of hell is this furry stuff right here? Uh. That looks like a, looks like a simple Soon enough, the only way you can keep going mark? down this road I is in so. a motorized mobility what? scooter. Answer me this. What will you do when Elon Musk turns off the Tesla battery in the middle of the woods? That's right. You're going to be kissed to death by a, a pack of nanny dogs who hmm? just broke out of the local nursery. Oh and my god, what? Fable. Breakfast was three infants ago. You're what did I do? Think about that. Oh, wait, I, I, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. This time you're engorging yourself like the hungry... I didn't even do nothing. This is, this is a bullcracky, <laughs> man. <laughs> I said sorry. I know, but still, I'm still offended. <laughs> okay, You're still... Platformer, Metroid oh, here, well, it's talk about something you like later. This was or could become heavily pregnant and this grants what? her gameplay advantages it's much the same way when you're small oh. you're very quick you're very oh, i mean this furry stuff form really easily when you're large you hit like a truck uh, your, hands, your animation okay your hitbox, they also scale with your stuff here's the content. thing you become the furry fandom is challenged when each very interesting the but at the same time a lot of the more like i always say this might it's not be probably good people decision, but, but the problem is is those that are the loudest larger. tend to talk more about their so strange how do we shed those pounds? Well, you sit yeah, so basically the, the loudest are either the weirdest or the worst. When the morbidly Wonderful. Blame it on the yeah. This is exactly so this is one of those things where it's just like, this, this is a heavily fetishized just metabolized, and I calculated this, by the way. I took an average. I just don't under, uh, I just, sometimes I don't understand how people are able to make a full game around their I just don't understand something sometimes. Here's the thing, though. This is, as as Seth said in the video, hyper um, inflation. It's yeah, yeah. See, here's the problem. That's actually a very common thing within the furry fandom. I don't know how to explain it, and everyone I talk to about it says agrees that why is it a thing? So everyone that you met literally asks, "Why is it a thing?" and they don't understand. I don't know either. Yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. Larger. I don't know. I feel like if people like, see my art, they're going to either assume because I'm a furry, I may have one of these things, and I'm just going to listen. No, it freaks me out. I don't want I don't want my character to be um, over, overweight. That's yeah. Monastery. No, thank you. Like morbidly obese. No, 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 no. It's actually gameplay in this, too. 
over and over again. Then you, you know it's made by someone with, the, with that particular liking. Natural, yeah. Yeah. Common and relevant you actually oriented it into gameplay. Capacity. Now you might think, oh, my capacity just got ten points higher. And like me, you might initially miss that firing of a new. Where does where does he find these games? Where you realize. Oh, I don't know. Oh, this uh, this isn't my what the final fuck? form. I can get larger. And so there's this uh, strange drive mm. pushing you forward where you're kind of morbidly fascinated. Because you see, there's, there's many more than just morbidly over here. Ours here is to see how large we can possibly get. Who is this game oh. for? Why are we covering it? Why yeah. is it important? That's a very it simple is. answer. First, okay. they came for the furry inflationists, and I did not speak out. Oh my there it God. is. It was very <laughs> furry inflationists. And then they came for me, and there was no one left. Well, this is a out. thing. That's why we defend them now, and we get on good terms. So that I don't know how to feel of what I'm watching. Can return the favor and war our enemies. Oh, I know how to feel. Completely confused. In really niche games. Okay. I'm trying to think of what the game we just played there was, but hard I probably won't know. It. Copy, so I depend on friends and family to send me a working so, copy of Bad Rats 2. What the hell? So, uh, uh, you too. To those who, um, it's, it's it's a weird game. It doesn't make any sense. So, uh, YouTube. To those of you who are furries and are interested in such things, why? I'm generally curious as to why. I I understand, given the fact that the furry fandom has a very interesting lights, given the fact that it's very make believe, and I've seen some shit, well. and I hated it. I hated everything about it. And all I can say is, listen, I get that it's all fantasy. And it's not possible, but it's, why? It's still very strange. Why? But uh, uh, maybe one day someone will do a documentary on furries and explain this stuff to us. But uh, no yeah, one of the most stable ways to do this is yeah, 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 why? As it's more commonly known, trying before buying. One day I will make a video that just asks a question to things that we don't ask about, like why? Why do we love this? Why do people like this? Why do a little too much? As they cannot distinguish illegal clothing and me trying to download a legitimate copy of a game I already own. So they follow my connection and my internet grinds to a halt. Thank you Verizon for the opportunity to pay $89.99 monthly all for the luxury of having no internet. Despite what the hell? It, like a battered housewife, I insist at least it's not T-Mobile. T-Mobile, for those who don't know, in the U.S. is awful. They are quite literally the worst provider. I tried to stream on T-Mobile once. It, uh... It, uh, no. Assisted. Very it didn't work. They love me. Then, about a month later, I received a cease and desist from Verizon. <laughs> I'm most definitely going to jail, giving me a list of racially motivated gangs I can choose to join once inside. I've never owned a paper shredder before, but I gotta uh, tell you, it's strangely satisfying. That's my third letter this week. Goes to so cease and desist. My internet provider really doesn't know what's best for me. So instead oh, yeah. of to install ExpressVPN, oh, well, this is Express VPN ad. my internet traffic goes through a secure encrypted server. So my ISP I'm gonna sneeze. My download speed because they can't see what I'm doing. And for those who are always wondering why do you watch the ads as well, it's because we're watching these people's videos, and I feel like they have at least a right to it's incredibly to push their own ads if I'm watching their video. Never, never secured. And ExpressVPN does all this without slowing my connection. Never. No way. We'll just force Chrono to watch all the ads. He's not allowed to play Animal Crossing anymore. Only ads. Then I'm gonna somehow. Hack into his Animal Crossing game and just put ads everywhere. Who don't care if you live or die by using the same VPN I've trusted since 2019. Three years, huh. and they never failed me once. How about that for an endorsement? Sign That's actually a pretty good endorsement. Express VPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com forward slash Seth or clicking the link in the description box below. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Gameplay is pretty straightforward. You help oh. out your local village by beating the shit out of every and consuming their dead bodies. For oh. an island guardian, you're actually quite terrifying, and the village itself is a really nice place. Yeah, yeah that would be horrifying to have them to where they can just keep eating and I getting wonder, larger. What shall I do today? Work on myself? Develop my skills? Care for my It's actually pretty and tiny and right there. I'll spend my entire life online and become increasingly weird and isolated, divorced 
from reality. Self-esteem? <laughs> What's that? I like the little towns people. Does it taste give funny? A sense of community and a purpose. The self-esteem. I don't know what self-esteem is. Out, the flying mini game is a really good way to make money. On the other hand, it's really difficult to explain to friends the nature of your anger. There's not many ways to say I popped like Icarus. I flew what the too fuck? close to the sun, or in this case, I flew too close to one chicken dinner too many, and I have to repeat the entire stage. You can play using a keyboard or controller, but I. Okay. Okay. I recommend a controller for your own comfort and sanity. Personally, Freeze are weird. Yes, yeah, no, furries are weird. I've had situations where I can Fable is one of the higher level, but good I can't furries. make a single jump Don't worry. to save my life. And then I proceed are to you? repeatedly eat the gun. trap Dark. until I die. You have two cells. Yeah. I, I really what don't like do? any of these particular things. I don't. I just I, know. I just like That's dressing fine. up characters in cute clothes. That's literally I know. it. And you want to be a fae that runs a carnival. And I know. Fire I know. is fire, and egg can make oh, a cow circus. Pregnant. Not really much more to say about that. It was either that or become the world of darkness and just start creating shit. But I don't want to. You want to be part of the world of darkness? You want to be world of darkness? By defeating bosses, which in turn can be used no, it was either that or pull a world of darkness and start making weird shit. Not or I mean, they already so made weird shit. Really Some sounds are not balanced for the rest of the game. Each oh. time I hit an armored pig, my speakers shake and my table travels. In oh, you no. Buy items and I strongly recommend them. They can save your life or a trip back home, which can be quite a bit of backtracking. Thankfully, you unlock the ability to fast travel relatively early into the game. I actually okay. love it because uh, the animation is based on your current weight. So if you're thin, you can tell it's a very pleasant ride. If you're not... Well, <laughs> dear God, look at that poor man. In the air. That at poor some bird point, man. I realize you can intentionally get caught and bloated by slime plants, break free, spit out the slime, kill them, and generate infinite XP. Unfortunately, I have to witness something unsettling each time yeah, I do this. So I no, wonder why. I don't think it's an exploit. It's an intentional form of torture. Everything you gain is outweighed by everything you lose, namely the ability to close your eyes ever again i'm gonna close my eyes because i'm not looking at well. your skull enemies are varied and will harm you in one of two ways one the they hell? can kill you two they can forcibly feed you until you explode this oh. is a similar experience to visiting grandma the longer you stay the higher your risk of cardiac arrest she that is honestly true i won't i will say that whenever i went to my grandmother's house she would always feed me did you ever have that table where your grandmother would say oh you're so thin yeah. Yeah, that happened to me too. <laughs> Won't kill you out of hatred. She'll drown you in the pancake syrup river of love. Also, the death sequence for getting too full is arguably more difficult to swallow. Food is both your strength mm. and weakness. You must constantly toe the line between obesity and death. They say video games are not the greatest medium for storytelling, but I disagree. When you see your obese lizard grappling the side of a cliff, his face says it all. Without uh. words, he evokes one singular emotion. Concern. The only <laughs> placement in this game is I wonder why. forget those two archers in Anor Londo that will seem like a pleasant memory when you're getting stun locked by roast turkey. You get XP pretty generously, and this lets you upgrade your abilities at any time. Many of these are lost until you get later into the game. I don't have any recommendations except uh, get healing on your punches, because relying on hmm. suggestion for health is okay, but you can't do magic on an empty stomach. And it's oh. a shame, because playing the game as a tactical egg artillery is objectively the best experience. Imagine seeing something pouring from the sky and it's either going to kill you or make you pregnant that's, what the that's fuck? quite terrifying did you have to put it like that i hate slimes i really dislike them that is all besides that sometimes animations really don't look like they should affect you but they do like oh. you can feel a hammer shock wave when you're not even on the same floor it's a what minor the hell? complaint and they'll probably fix this you know what it's a furry developer. In all likelihood, they will fix this, and they're currently taking notes. That's <laughs> the difference. You want something done? Stop recruiting on LinkedIn. Go to Fur Affinity instead. Also, some of the controls can be awkward. He's saying that because, for some reason, a lot of the people in the tech branches are furries. And then how else do you think they get all their money for stuff? I mean, you're not wrong. Apparently, first fursuits cost $2,000. That's more than I make in a month. 
but you can remap. You ever have a rich furry give you money? No, I don't want a rich furry to give me money. I will shell out so hard. Tribal hunter, a full out of belly. Cost more than guns, I know. During a difficult period of my life, each time I made any money, I would flash my wads of cash outside my wallet. Why would you? Comically lose them to a strong. Oh my god! Each time, eventually, I was left with nothing. Just me. And a small bag of crack. I that know. I, I had to get my life together. So, what the hell is Seth talking about now? Sometimes? I smoked the whole bag, using them <laughs> to outrun cars and siphon gasoline <laughs> from their tanks. Usually, at the same time, what I would the describe hell? the experience like using the devil trigger from Devil May Cry. I used high gasoline prices to in turn buy more crack, which I used to call fueling my addiction. I found this joke to be very amusing. I would repeat it often to the same homeless man. I would hound for hours, running circles around him as he cried and wept. And here I am today. Thank you, Tribal Hunter, for giving me my life back. Hey, sorry for stretching out the video, but I'm happy to inform you all that Tribal Hunter is now purpose. on GOG. Follow my GOG link at forward slash UNICEF for 15% off. For every uh. dollar you spend, I will personally steal a liter of clean drinking water from the children that need it most. For <laughs> Why? For charities that make things better, <laughs> I promise I'll make them worse. <laughs> developers do with their okay, yeah, I'll support it if he makes things worse. Better. I promise I'll make them worse. Oh but my developers god. Us they're really close to a 1.0 release so even if you buy now the game is going to leave early access in a couple of days oh As so always, it was on early access to come, so stay tuned or don't it's an open door policy a warm thanks to the many members of the merchants guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos you're all truly wonderful unless you're this mentally unstable part, in which case uh, i recommend comprehensive psychiatric a lot of these designs are actually ones. really cute until they do yeah, the thing. They weren't yeah until, Until they, they become inflated, yeah. Until they do. Yeah, we uh. That was a very strange video. I did not know what to expect going in there, and I kind of want to um, repress that. Here's the thing, though, in case anyone's interested, yes, the. A lot of the more. Like I said, the more of the louder furries are literally into two types of. Two types of things inflation and vor. Why I don't know, but for some reason they enjoy it as long as they're respectful and don't bring it on to you. Please respect them. I've met a lot of decent furries that do have fursuits and they are beautiful people. They are very kind, very nice, and they don't cross any boundaries. Oh. If you meet a furry that crush that crush that um crosses a boundary, that person is just a particular asshole. Feel free to be mean to them. You're welcome. Basically, just stay away from them. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. On furries, for some reason. I didn't know my channel had become this kind of thing, but hey, I'll see you all later. Have a good day, and if you like me, give me a Thank like. Thank your so fault for inviting me. If I suffer... <laughs> If I, if you like my suffering, consider giving me a like and telling me what you want us to watch next, or what you want us to do next, or what you liked about us. Tell us anything in the if comments. You if you like my suffering, feel free to help me try to buy a new computer. I'm desperate. I'm running out. Of, I'm running out. Of, I'm drinking rainwater, and all I have is the last pack of cat food. We don't even have a cat. <laughs> Why, is Why is it here? I don't even know. Well, thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later.